Munster, cheddar mozzarella, Munster, cheddar mozzarella, Munster, cheddar mozzarella, Munster, cheddar mozzarella, Philly! And we've got a grilled cheese sandwich in the making. Yep, pan's ready. Take a drink from my Jones. -a. Product placement, anyway. So, this is a. Uh, this is how I make a good grilled cheese sandwich and I want to share with the three or four people that watch this on YouTube. And I'm using potato bread. We can thank Mrs. Seaman for that. It was her recommendation to try potato bread. Oh. Yeah, this is what happens when you have your YouTuber, <laughs> your YouTube cooking host. And the cameraman be the same person. And the camera is really a cell phone. This will only end one of two ways. And I'm sure the three or four people are laughing or pitying me. I don't know. You decide. Actually, I just want to make sure. Yeah, you stay. Yeah, yeah. And no, I have not burnt myself, thank goodness. So we let that cook for a little bit on medium heat. While that's cooking, how are you doing today? Have a good weekend? How about them Seahawks? I had a Bleacher Report article where uh, I only got one of the playoff games wrong, but because I picked Seattle, picked Houston, picked um, Green Bay. Yeah, me, a Bears fan, picking Green Bay. Also, but I picked uh, Indianapolis and Baltimore destroyed them. But Denver will kick their ass. My Super Bowl pick still remains Denver and Green Bay. If you don't, if you want to see the whole reason why, uh, go on Bleach Report. Just search my name. You'll see my articles somewhere. Anyway, sandwich. Sandwich. Are you ready to be flipped? Sandwich. Sandwich. Eh, that's not my perfect, perfectness flip. Well, Typically, I like to get that golden. You can hear it too, maybe. That scraping. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, that's still buttery goodness right there, but. Yeah. Product placement again. Actually, this is actually a really good brand of soda if you haven't had it. Um, I kind of wish that, because this was in a six pack from Walmart. Cream soda, blue raspberry lemonade, and then uh, no, not not blue raspberry lemonade. What is it? Yoink! Green apple, cream, and berry lemonade. Okay, those two are the better ones. This one's okay, but I wish they would come out with a th different flavor packs. It's always the same thing over at the Walmart. So we're gonna flip our sandwich again. See if it's. Hmm. Hmm. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Are you? I think so. Unless. I think this will be my sandwich and not the wife's. My wife. My wife. Um, I've tried to get her to try some of the experiments. Now, her sandwich. She loves the Munster. Now. I never, we never had Munster before this. Uh, we tried it doing a grilled cheese with just the Munster. And it, it was good. Um, uh, but this uh, cheddar and mozzarella uh, marbled cheese is out of this world. Like, it makes these two blend together really, really well. I don't know how it happens. I'm no scientist, but I just like the mixture. I like the combination personally. Now, for this gr for grilled cheese, I mean, heck, you can't go wrong with any cheese, really, to be honest. I don't think there is ever such a bad cheese. I mean, post in the comments below if you're passing by and you actually like to use something different. But, uh, yeah. I've become a fan of Munster and Sargento. This is the wife's sandwich, so it's got to be good. 
Let's flip mine. Eh, I'll still live with that. I... My wife loves my sandwiches because I make sure that doesn't happen. I mean, it's fine. A lot of people would be like, yeah, yeah, that looks good. But I'm, I'm a perfectionist. And, you know, I used... I wonder, how many people prefer the skillet style? Do they do the George... Do people still do use the George Foreman grill to make the grilled cheese? I, I, I would assume so. All right, we're going to put my wife's sandwich on there. I'm not really burnt. Oh, jeez. Save the cheese. <laughs> Save the cheese! <laughs> yeah, that could have ended badly. Alright, so this sandwich... I'm going to plate this. That's the, uh... Get some butter on this side. And the reason I press down, normally I don't press down the grilled cheese, but because I'm filming and cooking and going to do a test eat on the show you why, cream cheese and the grilled cheese is really, really a good idea. We're just going to do it like that. All right. You know what? We're going to use this knife to cut this bad boy in half. Right down the middle. My wife's not the only one who knows I can work two things in a hand. So, open it up. See, so you got that cheddar, Munster, and you can't really see the cream cheese in there, but it's almost like a sauce now. Here's the bite. Hopefully the light's not glaring. <laughs> mm. That's the monster right there. You got three, four different kinds of cheeses. Ah! In that sandwich. And the cream, um, the cream cheese just adds like a whole nother. Okay, uh, yeah, my wife is still like it. <laughs> it adds like a whole nother thing to it. That is, uh, brings you back to childhood there. And I've got butter fingerprints all over my phone. Thank goodness for this, indust this industrial casing on the smartphone. So, yeah, there's the uh, grilled cheese. Um, normally, I don't leave it on the stove that long. Normally, when I cook, it comes out a little bit more like that. So, that is uh, grilled cheese, like ultimate grilled cheese by Senor Seaman. I, I haven't come up with a catchphrase. You guys helped help me come up with a better YouTube name. There it is. Try it out. Let me know what you like in the comments. Test it out. Maybe tell me what you do. How do you make your ultimate grilled cheese? Let's do a grilled cheese showdown, folks. Yeah. What you gonna do? Cult move, we're coming for you.